Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our live global event. Such a great pleasure for me to be able to welcome all of you. You that are here with us personally to Dubrovnik, to this beautiful venue, to Croatia. Also, a warm welcome to all of you watching us all around the world on our live feed YouTube channel, Rimac Automobili. A lot of exciting news happening today. I'm sure that most of you already know what I'm talking about, but I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna go into any details. We're gonna go for that to the man himself. Please welcome the founder and the CEO of Rimac Automobili, Mr. Materimac. Thank you and welcome everyone to this beautiful location in Dubrovnik, Croatia. And thanks for tuning in. We are so excited to finally share the details of this news with you tonight. We are hosting this event to celebrate the most recent news and we are joined by our shareholders, industry partners and friends at this 14th century fortress with the incredible view of some of the most iconic cars in the world against the background of one of the most iconic cities in the world, beautiful Dubrovnik. Rimac Automobile as a company exists only for 12 years, but what a ride it has been. If somebody told me back then what we are going to tell you tonight, I would have never believed it. Many of you know uh, our story. Uh, I was always crazy about cars even before I could walk or talk. I'm sure many of you are as well. But in high school, I was the national champion for electronics and innovation and wrote two patents when I was 17 years old. After turning 18, I bought a 1984 BMW 3 Series as this was the easiest entry ticket to racing. Soon, the combustion engine of that car blew up and I decided to combine my two passions, electronics and cars. Inspired by my fellow Croatian Nikola Tesla and his invention, the alternating current electric motor, I wanted to prove that electric cars can be fast, exciting, and better in many ways than combustion engine cars. Two years after founding the company, the first employees have joined me. We had many tough times, not knowing if the company will survive the next month. Many years of our existence, it was like that. It was just a fight for survival. I thought that our chances for survival were pretty much zero at that time. But that is what made us tough and lean, so we could do a lot with little. My dream was always to develop my own car from ground up, utilizing the potential of electric powertrains, like having an independent motor for each wheel. I have truly believed that a car like that could be superior in many regards to a traditional combustion engine powered car. But having dreams is easy. Realizing such a complex project is a whole nother thing. While we have already shown our first electric hypercar, the Concept One, which was the first electric hypercar at all, it was back in 2011, but it took us 10 years to get from that initial concept and idea to the Nevera, which is the embodiment of my initial vision. It started with just me in a garage, and that was in 2010. We were eight employees when um, we have shown the Concept One at the Frankfurt Auto Show in 2011. And just recently, 10 years later, we have broken the 1,000 people mark. What I'm extremely proud of is that we have managed to not only keep the family-like culture, while growing so fast, but also build a culture of excellence, focus on the product, discipline, and delivery while having such a fast growth rate, which is very rare. We are continuing to grow fast and expect to double within the next few years. And I always wanted to do this in Croatia and prove this can be done here, despite all the naysayers. As the saying goes, everything is impossible until somebody does it. And I'm very proud that we have attracted people from over 40 countries to call Croatia their new home. But we are also opening up uh, new locations in several countries to have more access to different talent pools. A big challenge in our journey was finding the right investors. While initially, it was pretty much impossible to get investors to invest in an electric car startup in Croatia, led by a 21-year-old guy at that time, happy to have some of the world's greatest companies as our partners and investors. In 2018, Porsche chose to invest and being a great support and also on a personal level, not just on a company level. And thank you for that. In 2019, Hyundai and Kia have also joined us as shareholders. Those partnerships gave an incredible boost to our growth trajectory. As a result of this growth, our company now stretches across 10 different locations in several countries. We have a great uh, global network of dealers selling our products and cars. 
We are supplying technology to 12 of the world's most prestigious car companies, and we've successfully delivered more than 30 high-profile projects to our industry customers, with many more in the pipeline. Today, we have two businesses that are very complementary and work hand-in-hand. -hand. With our hypercars, we are raising the bar and show what's possible. Our technology business utilizes our know-how of high-performance EV systems to help large OEMs develop and manufacture hybrid and electric cars. We are developing and making battery systems, e-axles, infotainment systems, connectivity, and other products for companies like Porsche, Hyundai, Koenigsegg, Aston Martin, Pininfarina, and many others. One business without the other would have a much harder time, meaning that it would probably be impossible. For example, developing a complex and unique infotainment system for the Nevera would hardly make any sense for the small numbers of hypercars that we are making. It only makes sense if we scale that technology uh, by selling it to other OEMs as part of our technology business. This brings me to the first announcement that we made today. Now that we have two businesses that are quite on a mature stage and uh, a, a pretty big size, we have decided that it makes sense for the two companies to separate. One focused on hypercars and the other being a technology supplier to the automotive industry. Both companies need to grow and be successful on all levels, including profitability on their own. Still, we will keep the synergies and make sure that, where it makes sense, the companies still work as one. Fast growth requires space, and space has been one of the major challenges of Rimac in the recent years. The Rimac campus is a very special project to me personally, a project that I have been working on for the last eight years. It will be the long-term home of our businesses, with space for over 2,500 employees, with all R&D and production facilities that we need. It also includes a test track, testing facility, kindergarten, gym, and many other things to make it the best place for our employees to flourish and give our guests a great experience. It is also uniquely integrated with nature and the community around us, being the only automotive research facility without a fence, welcoming guests from all around the world, as well as the neighbor's kids. Construction of the 200 million, 100, um, 200 million euro and 100,000 square meter facility just outside of Zagreb, of the capital city of Croatia, will start in the next couple of months and will be completed by the end of 2023. A month ago, we have presented our all-new electric hypercar, the Rimac Nevera. It is a car that sets new standards in performance and usability, entirely designed in-house from scratch. The Nevera has record-breaking performance, over 1,900 horsepower, 1 1.9 seconds 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 412 kilometers per hour top speed, and 120 kilowatt hours of energy. It is a forceful and unexpected uh, force of nature, just like the Mediterranean storm it takes its name from. After investing all of our energy, blood, sweat and tears for the last five years into developing the Nevera, it was nerve-wracking to hand it over to journalists to give their verdict on our hard work. It was the more rewarding seeing all of them being absolutely blown away by the car. More importantly, they were not only impressed with the acceleration, but also with the car as a whole picture, with the handling, with the features, and the build quality of it. That made us immensely proud. But this is really just the beginning for the Nevera. We are just finishing the homologation and starting the production of customer cars, with the first cars being delivered this year. We are also just heading out to our world tour with the car. We'll be stopping at the most important public and private events with our dealers and customers all around the world. What we have created with the Nevera is the latest in line of cars that have redefined the limits of performance of automotive. But we are new here. But visionary innovators have been doing this before. And no one has done quite as much to redefine performance as Bugatti. With a history stretching back over 110 years, producing some of the most beautiful and technologically advanced performance cars ever, Bugatti has always been the pinnacle of automotive performance. It has shaped the hypercar sector in what it is today. I said earlier that creating an electric hypercar was my dream. But to be here, sharing the stage with our friends from Porsche and Bugatti, just moments away from announcing the next big development in the Rimac automobile journey, is something that I have never imagined. Today, we are announcing the creation of a new company, the best hypercar company in the world, called Bugatti Rimac. This is a perfect fusion of Rimac's automobile's fast-paced electrification innovations and Bugatti's 110-year her heritage of design and craftsmanship. It is an absolute honor for us to be part of this, joining forces with a company that has done so much to shape the world of performance cars. 
Bugatti is undoubtedly the most iconic hypercar manufacturer of all time. But now we are giving the responsibility to continue Bugatti's 110 year history. Using our experience as the world's first EV only hypercar manufacturer, the creators of the world's fastest accelerating production car and technology partner to 12 global OEMs to help create another 110 years of history for the future. It's a journey we can't wait to get started on. With splitting up the companies in two, Rimac Automobili, the original limited liability company that I founded 12 years ago, will become Rimac Group, which will be the major shareholder of Bugatti Rimac with a 55% stake. I will retain my original shareholding in the Rimac Group at 37%, Porsche at 24%, Hyundai Motor Group at 12%, and other investors at 27%. Rimac Technology will be 100% owned by Rimac Group and it will remain an independent company. This independence is incredibly important to our OEM partners, ensuring complete confidentiality and separating shareholders from projects we do for other car companies. I will become the CEO of Rimac Group, leading both uh, Bugatti Rimac and Rimac Technology. The Bugatti Rimac business will develop the future of both Bugatti vehicles and Rimac vehicles through a joint expertise in R&D and other areas. But importantly, Bugatti and Rimac will continue as separate respective brands. At the same time, Rimac technology stays independent and will continue to work with many automotive companies, the majority of which are outside of our shareholders or the Volkswagen Group, so customers that are other unrelated car companies. The incredible heritage of Bugatti will be completely undisrupted. Molsheim, the incredible site in France, will remain the beautiful home of Bugatti's production with every single car made by hand in Molsheim. Our new campus in Croatia, when completed, will be the headquarters to Bugatti Rimac, home to R&D activities, the production of all Rimac automobile models, and the production of components and technologies for both brands. For example, the batteries being produced in Croatia for both Bugatti and Rimac. In time, it will house 2,500 employees, some of the most innovative and creative minds in the automotive industry, with a focus on pushing the limits of electrified performance. And with that, I'm honored to invite to the stage the godfather of our relationship with Porsche, Deputy Chairman of the Executive Board and CFO of Porsche, Mr. Lutz, Lutz Meschke, who can explain a little bit more about what's to come. Lutz. Ladies and gentlemen, it is done. With the signing of the joint venture agreement, the foundation has been established for the new company Bugatti Rimac. I'm both delighted and very proud that this joint venture has crossed the finish line. Today is a good day for Bugatti and Rimac, Porsche and the entire Volkswagen Group. We can look back on 18 months of intensive negotiations. It took a long time to find the right structure for the new company. And it was not always easy to convince all the stakeholders about the idea and the specific form the joint venture would take. But they were always very productive discussions and they have led to a very good result. All those involved will benefit, above all, Bugatti's customers. Because this means that the future of this proud and traditional rich brand has been secured. Bugatti develops and manufactures unique hypercars of the very highest standard that have fascinated its very exclusive customer group for many years. As part of the joint venture with Rimac, Bugatti will still be able to fully demonstrate its outstanding abilities and charisma. Backed by the innovative strengths of Rimac, new and exciting models will be developed that will make the hearts of Bugatti fans all over the world beat faster. The joint venture is the culmination of an extended strategic chain of investments. It started in 2018 when Porsche purchased its first shares in the still young Croatian company Rimac Automobili. This followed initial business and personal contact with Marte Rimac and his fantastic team. It all developed into a very close and productive relationship with partners who complement and enrich each other. 
Marte Riematz is an exceptional entrepreneur, the likes of which are rare in the history of the automotive industry. He's both easygoing and serious at the same time. He has acquired immense and unique know-how. He rethinks the car and is also able to inspire his team each and every day, motivating them to work towards ambitious goals. And in spite of his tremendous success, he has remained down to earth. Marte, don't ever change. It is always such great fun to work with you. We recognize the enormous innovative potential of Remarts early on. We therefore acted very quickly and decisively when the opportunity presented itself in 2018. Since then, we have successfully increased our shareholding in Remarts Automobili to 24% at present. It has been quite a bold thing to do and not without risk. But this investment has proven itself to be both the correct decision and worthwhile. Riemanns has developed exceptionally well, not just on a technological level, but also in terms of value. The company is well on its way to becoming a tier one supplier for Porsche. We have already placed high-tech development orders. Today, our good relationship with Marte Riemanns is paying off again. As the CEO of the Bugatti Rimac joint venture, he will lead a highly emotive and important brand into the future. He will also make an important economic contribution to Croatia, while at the same time giving Bugatti's Molsheim headquarters a long-term perspective. With Porsche taking over Volkswagen shares in the joint venture, which resulted from the transfer of the Volkswagen Group's Bugatti shares, we are very happy to be supporting as a strong strategic partner and shareholder. Oliver Blume and I will be represented on the shareholders committee and supervisory board. This means that we will also support the new company in an advisory role. As you can see, Bugatti Remats has been set up perfectly, right from the start, and is ideally prepared for the future. Porsche will contribute to ensuring that this joint venture becomes a success story. I look forward to it, and I will now hand over to Oliver Blume, and with a big thank you, because he has always given the most fantastic support to this project. Mate, Jelim ti puno sreče. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are celebrating a big...